How you doing? My name is Matt LeBlanc. I'm a senior systems engineer here at Avesha. Uh, today, I'm going to talk about Cube Slice and how you can use it to break vendor lock, move your your uh, applications to any cloud infrastructure. We're going to be focusing on that one hybrid cloud migration uh, use case, but it does apply to a whole bunch of others, which we're not really going to cover today. Uh, you know. One of the big challenges is once you choose a vendor, you're more likely to be stuck in there, whether you were originally a Gmail user and you end up using all of Google's ecosystems, or you started off with an Office 365 license, ended up in Azure, or you just started with AWS. Often customers are stuck in those spaces. And the reason why is once you start there, that data is created, all your applications are designed to be close to the source, making it harder to move. And Avesha makes it easy to make, break that vendor lock. And we basically use Cube Slice to move your, start moving your workloads to another cloud somewhere else, any flavor Kubernetes. And here's an example of that. You know, we have this basic application that's running. We have a, our, our boutique online web shop. It's the front end storefront services, right? And then we also have our payment services, the other cloud vendor out there. And you're stuck there, right? You're gonna do everything inside of Google. But here's how we break that vendor. Your application connectivity for fleets of clusters without changes to the application. This is a zero trust isolation solution. We're doing that by basically connecting your namespaces. We, we call that a cube slice or a slice for short. So, how do we do that? Very simple. Uh, we're going to create a this boutique cube slice, create that slice. We're going to add our clusters to it. In this case, we're going to connect our GKE Google Cloud cluster to our Oracle or OCI cluster. We're going to add that namespace to that slice. And now we, once we've created that slice, we've created that secure connection. You know, it is a uh, uh, is encrypted. It's, we use role-based access control, and you have the ability to really isolate that app, application isolation information. Now, once you have created that slice, you can then deploy that application over in the Oracle environment, in the, that new cluster. And once that is up and running, you can retire that old front-end service. Now, the key here is we didn't move the data. We just redeployed parts of those front-end services elsewhere. And it's going to allow you to start a partial migration or hybrid migration uh, where you can start moving. So let's see how that works once we have done that movement here. So first, we'll add a couple items to our cart here. We've got the candle holder, we've got five items. Uh, and now we have $103 in our, our shopping cart. We commit that to our purchase, order's complete. And now we can look in the back end or, or the um, look at the cluster itself. If you look at that front end, that is still, uh, that is now running on that Oracle cluster. And we can check the logs and basically see that same $103.94. Now, just quickly con conclude here, um, you can choose where you want your apps to run. Don't let data gravity drag you down. If you have some use cases where you want to maybe start leaving your original vendor, you want to move to someone else, Avesha is the solution for you. If you have any questions, please feel free to contact me. My email address is matt at avesha.io, where you can scan the QR code down below. Thanks. <laughs>